Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Cracking IELTS 9.0. Today I will be discussing Cambridge 16 test for reading passage 1. This is the academic reading module. Right, the heading says Roman tunnels. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the passage. Uh, here the instructions say one word only, right? So we need to answer within only one word. Okay, so what is the heading say? Um, so what does the heading say? The Persian Kanath method. Okay, so first blank is dash to direct the tunneling. So here we have a diagrammatic representation, right? Uh, we can see some uh, hills or the rocks here. Okay, uh, we can see the water table. Right, we have uh, some channels here and the water is flowing like this, right? So water runs into a dash used by local people. Okay, so here we already have some hints here, right? So first question is dash to direct, to direct the tunneling. This is our keyword, direct tunneling, right? So second question is water runs into a dash used by the local people. So local people is one more keyword. Next, the third question is vertical shafts to remove earth and for dash. So vertical shafts is the keyword here. Okay, guys. So we'll be concentrating on these keywords and we'll look for these words in the paragraphs. Okay. So let's move to the first paragraphs and try to understand the question. Okay. All right. So the Roman tunnels. The Romans, who once controlled areas of Europe, North Africa, and Asia Minor, adopted the construction techniques of other civilizations to build tunnels in their territories. Okay. So, what's the first passage? Let's see. The Persians, who lived in present day Iran, were one of the first civilizations to build tunnels that provided a reliable supply of water to human settlements in dry areas. Okay, in the early first millennium BCE, they introduced the Kanath method, right? So this was the heading of our passage, right? Of tunnel construction, which consisted of placing posts over a hill in a straight line to ensure that the tunnel kept to its root and then digging vertical shafts down into the ground at regular intervals. Okay, okay. Next, underground workers removed the earth from between the ends of the shafts and creating a tunnel. Right, the excavated soil, excavated soil was taken up to the surface using the shafts, which also provided ventilation during the work. Right, once the tunnel was completed, it allowed water to flow from the top of the hillside down towards the canal, which supplied water for human use. Remarkably, some canals built by the Persian 2,700 years ago are still in use today. Wow, that's a great thing to hear. Right. Right guys, we have got an idea now. So let's see what's the first question now. We have got the ideas about the tunneling and how it is made. I think uh, it is easy to spot the answers here. Okay, so what is the first question? Dash to direct the tunneling. So to direct the tunneling, what does the passage say? See, they introduced the Kanath method of construction which considered of placing post over a hill in a straight line to ensure that the tunnel kept its root. So tunneling, direct the tunneling. So tunnel kept its root. So which consisted of placing posts. So placing post over a hill in a straight line. Yes. See. These things, they are the posts. This is over a hill in a straight line. Okay. So these, they are kept in a straight line over the hill. So the answer is posts, right? Right. Very good. We got the first answer. Then water runs into a dash used by the local people. So water runs into what? Which is used by local people. Let's read further. And then digging vertical shafts down into the ground at regular intervals. Underground workers removed the earth from between the ends of the shafts, creating a tunnel. Okay, the excavated soil was taken up to the surface using the shafts, which also provided 
ventilation during the work wow so once the tunnel was completed it allowed water to flow from top of the hillside down towards a canal which supplied water for human use see human use this is our key word here right so what is the answer once the tunnel was completed it allowed water to flow from the top of a hillside down towards a canal so canal is the keyword which supplied water for human use means which is used by the local people right so water runs so this water is running into a canal so clearly canal is our answer right next third one vertical shafts to remove earth and for dash so these are the vertical shafts okay these are removing the earth and water okay see the excavated soil soil means earth was taken up to the surface using the shafts which also provided ventilation during the work see which also provided means and ventilation so so here earth means soil so vertical shaft to remove earth and for ventilation right so we got the third answer as well next what is the fourth question cross section of a roman kanat shaft right so dash made of wood or stone dash made of wood or stone so something see he is uh, the arrow is pointing towards this right this looks like some uh, lid or uh, opening so dash is made of wood or stone so this is made of wood or stone uh, okay then we have a rod here and something is hanging so fifth one is dash attached to the plumb line so this is the plumb line so something is attached to it we need to find out what is it and hand holds and foot holds used for dash so the, these are the hand and foot holds right hand holds and foot holds used for what so when we read the paragraphs we will understand it very clearly right so we need to look for wood or stone right let's uh, move to the second para now the later passed on their knowledge to the romans who also used the canal method to construct water supply tunnels for agriculture roman canal tunnels were constructed with vertical shafts dug at intervals of about 30 to 30 and 60 meters uh, the shaft for equipped with handholds and footholds to help those climbing in and out of them and were con and were covered with a wooden or stone lid see we were looking for this word right wood uh, wood or stone so wooden or stone lid and one more answer also we got handholds and footholds right those uh, to help those climbing in and out right i think we got two answers in the single sentence so fourth one is dash is made of wood and stone lid 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 right so these handholds and footholds used for what we just read is climbing they are used for climbing guys okay right so let's read further uh, what is the fifth question dash attached to the plumb line so we need to see what is attached to the plumb line plumb line is our keyword to ensure the shafts were vertical romans hung a plumb line see from a rod placed across the top of each shaft and made sure that the weight at the end of it hung in the center of the shaft so that the weight at the end of it so they have hung a weight here right so this is a nothing but the weight so that's what is our answer right guys so yes we have completed the first section successfully so let's move to the next set of questions okay yes the next set of questions here we have is true false or not given okay so what is the seventh question the counter excavation method completely replaced the kanat method in the 6th century bce okay so what are the keywords here counter excavation method completely replaced the kanat method in completely replaced is the keyword here guys so one method has completely replaced the kanat method so is it true or not are not given uh, so that's what we need to find out so let's see okay 
when we move to the next paragraph here we have something called as the counter excavation method did you see this by the 6th century bce a second method of tunnel construction appeared called the counter excavation method in which the tunnel was constructed from both ends it was used to cut through high mountains when the kanath method was not a practical alternative okay where it is not a uh, practical alternative this method required greater planning and advanced knowledge of surveying mathematics and geometry as both ends of a tunnel had to meet correctly at the center of the mountain adjustments to the direction of tunnel also had to be made whenever builders encountered geological problems or when it deviated from its set path they constantly check the tunnel's advancing direction i think we have the answer in the first two sentences here so let's read this sentence it it was used to cut through high mountains when the kanath method was not a practical alternative so what does this sentence mean it means that when kanath method was not useful then they are going they will be using this counter excavation method okay so first they will try this kanath method okay they will uh, when they found out that practically it is not possible then uh, they, then only they will go for this counter excavation method so what does the question say the question says the counter excavation method completely replaced the kanath method in the 6th century bce no it did not completely replace only in some special cases where this kanath method was practically not possible this counter excavation method used to take place hence our answer is false okay so it did not completely replace this is false only experienced builders were employed to construct a tunnel using the counter excavation method so what is the keyword only experienced builders so only experienced builders were employed to construct the tunnel using the counter excavation method i think we have read something about the uh, builders here right so this method required greater planning advanced knowledge of surveying mathematics geometry as both the ends of tunnel had to meet correctly at the center okay adjustment to the directions of the tunnel also had to be made whenever the builders encountered geological problems or when it is deviated from its set path okay does it say anywhere that only experienced builders were employed no the passage talk talks about builders but it doesn't say anything about uh, only experienced builders are working on this project or on in this method so it doesn't say anything hence the answer is not given okay so the next question the information about a problem that occurred during the construction of the salde aqueduct system was found in an ancient book okay so this is the keyword salde aqueduct system so let's read further uh, to understand this okay guys so let's read from here this is the next para right for example by looking back at the light that penetrated through the tunnel mouth and made corrections whenever necessary large deviations could happen and they could result in one end of the tunnel not being uh, usable an inscription written on the side of a 428 meter tunnel built by the romans as a part of the salde aqueduct system here we got the keyword in modern day algeria describes how uh, the two teams of builders missed each other in the mountain and how the later construction of a lateral link between the both corridors corrected the initial error okay so what does this say so what is the actual question that we have see it says the information about a problem that occurred during the construction of a salde aqueduct system was found in an ancient book is it found in an ancient book what is given here and this sentence an inscription written on the side of a 428 meter tunnel so it is written on the side of the tunnel inscription so it is not a book okay it is uh, printed on the side of the tunnel so this is clearly opposing what is given in the paragraph hence this would be clearly false right what's the next question 10th one the mistake made by the builders of salde aqueduct system was that the two parts of the tunnel failed to meet 
Yes, I think they failed to meet. Yes, I think we read this one, right? So what does it say? Describes how the two team of builders missed each other. Okay. They missed each other in the mountain and how the later construction of a lateral link between the both corridors corrected the error. So they missed each other means they failed to meet. They really failed to meet. Hence the answer is true. Okay, guys. Right, so the, uh, let's move to the next set of questions then. So here we have one more uh, set that is no more than two words. This is equivalent to Phillips or uh, you can say like uh, uh, filling the blanks. So what type of mineral were the Delacothe mines in Wales built to extract? So this is our keyword Delacothe mines in Wales. What type of mineral? We need to find what is the mineral there. So uh, let's find out our keyword. Where is this in the paragraph? I hope you guys can see this. So where is our uh, mines here? Here, you can see this. So let's read this uh, sentence. Traces of such tunnels used to mine gold can still be found at the Delogathy mines in Wales. Okay. Uh, so when the sole purpose of a tunnel was mineral extraction, construction required less planning as the tunnel route was determined by the mineral wind. Okay, I think we got the answer right. Traces of such tunnels used to mine gold. This is the gold can still be found in these mines in Wales. So what's your answer? It is a gold. Okay. Right. So what is the uh, next question? In addition to the patron, whose name might be curved onto a tunnel? What do you mean by patron? Guys, patron here uh, means financier. Okay. Or a sponsor. Sponsor for any cause or event or for any uh, useful purpose. We call him a patron. So, in addition to the patron, whose name might be curved onto a tunnel? So, let's read the passage. Uh, yes, the Roman tunnels, the Roman tunnel projects were carefully planned and carried out. The length of the time it took to construct a tunnel depend on the uh, method being used and the type of rock being excavated. The Kanath construction method was usually faster than the counter excavation method as it was more straightforward. This was because the mountain could be excavated not only from the tunnel mouse but also from the shafts. The type of rock could also be influence the construction times. When the rock was hard, the Romans employed a technique called fire quenching, which consisted of heating the rock with fire and then suddenly cooling it with cold water so that it would crack. So progress through hard rock could be very slow and it was not uncommon for tunnels to take years, if not decades to be built. Construction marks left on a Roman tunnel in Bologna showed that the rate of advance through uh, solid rock was 30 meters per day. In contrast, the rate of advance of the coldest tunnel could be calculated 1.4 meters per day. Most tunnels had inscriptions showing the names of patrons, mm -hmm. right, patrons who ordered construction and sometimes the name of the architect. See, so in addition to the patrons, sometimes the name of the architect. So our answer is the architect, right? So in addition to the patron, whose name might be curved? Uh, the architect. Right guys, uh, so this is our answer, right? So what is the next question? What part of Seleucia Pereira was the Seblik tunnel built to protect? So this is our keyword, Pereira and Seblik tunnel. Let's read further. Here we have, for example, So, for example, the 1.4 km Selvik tunnel in Turkey built to divert the flood water threatening the harbor of the ancient city of Perira had inscriptions on the entrance uh, still visible today, blah, blah, blah. Don't read the full sentence. Right. So, which part of the city is protecting? See, Selvik tunnel built to divert the flood water threatening the harbor of the ancient city. Threatening the harbor. Okay. So they are, divert, they are diverting the flood water. So which, what part of Perira was served and built to protect? The harbor, okay. So the harbor is our answer guys, okay. 
right so that is the end of passage 1 i hope uh, my explanation is pretty clear to all of you uh, please let me know in the comment section uh, how i can improve my uh, way of teaching or uh, if you want me to uh, particularly discre- uh, discuss uh, some type of uh, passage you can suggest me as well so please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel cracking ielts 9.0 this would be really helpful for ielts aspirants have a great day guys goodbye see you in some other video